So this is Triune Mountain, 2,600 meter high mountain, and the road up starts at 1,000 meters, leaving 1,600 meters of climbing. Today I'm going to attempt to hand cycle up Triune Mountain on the latest prototype of the Bowhead RX. So having injured myself almost 25 years ago now as a T7 paraplegic, I always loved, I was a mountain biker before I was injured and I wanted to be a mountain biker after I was injured. But the technology just wasn't there. I mean, I had a career in adaptive devices and designing wheelchairs and sit skis and things like this. And it, it sort of came together where I was able to start making a bike. And my vision was this hand cycle mountain bike. From the very first prototype of the RX to where we are now is, is about an eight year gap before technology caught up. Good morning. My name is Frank. I've been coming to Trout Lake now for 20 plus years. As you can see, it's a gorgeous place. Now we have some wheelchair people testing out their units. And they seem to be having a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever had a breakfast this big. This summer, the Bowhead R&D team and I turned a concept drawing into the bike you see today. The bike we've got today has the leaning and it has the three wheels and it has the backrest and it has all the things that I had control of, but it also is benefiting from all the things that we didn't have control of. The motors, the shifting, the gearing, the tires, the rims. There's, there's so much technology that came together at the perfect time to hopefully have made the perfect bike. The plan is to go to Trout Lake, BC, uh, meet up with Ryan, our mountain guide, and, and see if this thing can actually go up a mountain. That's the goal. That'll be the success. We'll know we've got it. So we're going up to Rudabo. Okay. So uh, Rudabo is an area where mining started here about 120 years ago, and maybe a little bit longer. I've got a book on it anyways. Um, so the road itself is vehicle accessible up to a certain point. Okay. And then after that, it gets a little bit gnarly. So we're okay. starting to get into more of the, the schisty scree kind of slopes on the roads and stuff like okay. that. So um, once we get past that stuff, we'll get up into the trees and we'll get up past that stuff into the Alpine. It opens right up. Uh, you're gonna find once we get up into the bowl there, we'll come around, there's some side hill stuff for you to try out okay. that beautiful suspension ears. Yep. I love that thing. Yeah. Then there's some awesome downhills, some awesome uphills, crawling yeah. through the rocks, there's dirt bike trails, all sorts, and it's a great big huge meadow about five kilometers long. Nice, sweet, yeah. I'm stoked. To get I'm stoked for you guys, here. man, absolutely. This what is gonna be fantastic. I've already told people where we're going, so okay. if we're not back by tonight, they're coming to find us. Okay, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Oh, let's go to turbo mode. And I watch the clouds as they sadly pass me by. Seven miles below. All right. We got Christian's log. Two kilometers. We just uh, tickled the red zone there, so <clears throat> in the heart rate. So I'm going easy here, bringing her back down because I think we got a long way to the top. Jesus. I got a hunt for traction on these, but I'm on like a 15%, 18% grade right now. But it's good. You can kind of get into that zone where you're just keeping your heart rate, where, where you know you can keep it. Plugging away. I never thought that I would 
hand cycle up a mountain, you get this sort of euphoric feeling that you don't get in a motorized vehicle. You're in your own little world and, and the, the tweets from the birds become louder and the sun becomes brighter and, and your breaths resonate through your head. Jesus. So we're 1,350 meters, so that's about 400 meters higher than when we started. And we've done it in 4K. So that's 100 meters per kilometer, which is 1,000 meters long. So we have a one in 10. An ADA wheelchair ramp is one in 12. So on average, this is not wheelchair accessible. And I'm, oh, I gotta pick my line and try and stay Jesus back over the wheel. A nice consistent crank. Let's see if we can break 10k an hour for the first time in a while. Ooh, 10k! From this point on, it'll be technically challenging, I think. On a quad, it's easy. I'm sure on one of these bikes, watching it perform is going to do great. <laughs> it's just a bear of a road. I'm pretty determined to make it. Uh, I think we got to drop some pressure in the back tire to get some traction and away we go. I'm having trouble keeping my heart rate very high. Running out of juice in the arms. Trying to keep the input wattage above 70. To get the most out of the motor. What? Come on. Can't really talk. Oh. oh God. Oh. 8K and a thousand meters up. I don't think I've gone a kilometer up in 8K before yeah. under my power or at least part of my power. She's a machine. Oh. oh, fuck. If I was fresh, maybe something different would be going on. I'll get it. Oh, she flattens out. Easy. Huh? 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 Oh, fuck. I think we might be stuffed. But pretty incredible. We've done over a kilometer up, 3,300 feet. This is prototype number two, uh, with two more planned before production. Not a single thing has gone wrong, which is pretty incredible. A chain hasn't skipped, nothing's loose. It's just as good as the moment we put it together. Here we go. In the moment, you don't know where you are on a mountain, but, but looking back at the, the data and the, the Garmin info, we were so, we were 90% of the way there. There was really like a, a 50 meter section of trail that was super steep and loose. And I think in the moment, it seemed like that was the time to hop off. 
but knowing now where we were, I think with, with fresher arms or a little more fitness and some better line choice, I, I believe we could have made it up to the top that day. It's funny to jump from something so conceptual, mechanical, and pieced together in, a, in an R&D facility to go straight from there right to one of the most beautiful places on the planet with a whole team of people that all work together to accomplish one goal, to hand cycle your way up a mountain. It was magical. And having that group together to experience it as one, it was special in the moment and forward thinking into the future. Just where this bike will take not only the customers that get it, but us as a company. That is entirely too much fun. Whew.